Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 57. In this video, we will discuss everything you would ever want to know about naked quads, and then some. There are two prerequisite videos you should look at in preparation for watching this video. First, take a look at DX Sudoku training video number 8 titled Naked Triples. And second, take a look at DX Sudoku training video number 51 titled 56 Types of Triples. Both these videos are about triples, but many of the same ideas and concepts in these two videos apply to naked quads. This video has four parts. First, some simple naked quad examples will be shown, along with a discussion of technique wrapping. And second, the process of how to find a naked quad will be discussed. Then there will be a discussion on the different types of naked quads. And the last part is a set of practice exercises designed for helping you achieve mastery using this technique. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We concentrate on the house making up row 6, and we find a naked quad wrapping a hidden single. Wrapping occurs when two different techniques will remove the same non-possible candidates in the puzzle. We are showing our naked quad highlighted in green and our hidden single highlighted in purple. What makes the four cells highlighted in green a naked quad is each of the four cells has two to four of the same set of four possible candidates. This means all four possible candidates will be needed for filling out the values in the cells highlighted in green. For example, if we have a 6 in cell 6, 1 as shown, then we have a 1, 2 naked pair. This forces cell 6, 8 to have a value of 9. This results in the 2, 6 in cell 6, 2 being killed as shown. Or we could have a value of 9 in cell 6, 1 as shown. This results in having a value of 2 in cell 6, 8 as shown. This then results in having a value of 1 in cell 6, 6 as shown. And finally, there must be a value of 6 in cell 6, 9 as shown. The result of all this is the possible 2, 6 candidates in cell 6, 2 are killed as shown by the x's. We will have the same result with the five remaining cases now outlined in black. The result of all these cases for the possible candidates in the cells highlighted in green is the two six candidates in cells six comma two highlighted in dark red are killed. This is what is meant by all four numbers in the four cells highlighted in green are needed for filling out the four cells with values. Now generally, with a house having five remaining cells open, we would not look for a naked quad. It is much easier to look for a hidden single than to find a naked quad in the puzzle. We remove the non-possible candidates from cell 6, 2, and we are left with a naked single with a possible 4 candidate. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We concentrate on the house making up column 7, and we find a naked quad wrapping a hidden pair. Again, just like it was easier to find a hidden single as opposed to a naked quad with a house having five cells, it is much easier to find a hidden pair as opposed to a naked quad with a house having six remaining open cells. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We concentrate on the house making up block nine, and we find a naked quad wrapping a hidden triple. This time, however, unlike the house having five or six open spaces, with a house having seven open spaces, it is easier to find a naked quad than it is to find a hidden triple. Based on experience, we suggest the following guideline. Do not start looking for a naked quad unless the house you are looking at has seven or more remaining open spaces. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We concentrate on the house making up row four and we find a naked quad wrapping a hidden quad. Finding a naked quad is hard enough, so we recommend looking for them first before you start looking for a hidden quad. And here is our final example of wrapping. We concentrate on the house making up row five and we find a naked quad wrapping a hidden quintet. Anytime you find a house having nine remaining open cells, there's a chance you're going to find a naked quad wrapping a hidden quintet or you're going to find a naked quintet wrapping a hidden quad. Next, the search algorithm for finding naked quads will be discussed. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When searching for a naked quad, we sift through all the cells of the 27 houses. We begin by concentrating on the house making up row 1 and the cell 1, 1 now outlined. 
This cell has five possible candidates, so it cannot be part of four cells making up a naked quad. We move to cell 1, 2. This cell has the numbers 3, 8, and 9. We keep track of these numbers in our tally. At this point, we have one cell and three numbers 3, 8, and 9. Next, we look at cell 1, 3 now outlined. This cell has too many candidates to be part of our naked quad. Cell 1, 4 is next. This cell has the numbers 3, 6, 8, and 9. This cell fits with what we have so far. We now have two cells in our tally. We continue looking for cells having only two or three possible candidates with the numbers 3, 6, 8, and 9. We continue to cell 1, 6. This cell has the number 2, so it can't be part of our current tally. Next, we look at cell 1, 7. This cell has the number 5, so it can't be part of our current tally. Cell 1, 8 is no good because of the possible 7 candidate. At this point, we do not have enough remaining cells to complete a naked quad with the cells highlighted in green. We reset our tally and we continue searching. We move to cell 1, 3 as a starting point. This cell has too many candidates to be part of a naked quad. We can skip cell 1, 4 as a starting point because it has four possible candidates and was already part of a previous search. If cell 1, 4 had two or three possible candidates, we would then have to consider it as a starting point even if it had already been in a previous search. Next, we use cell 1, 6 as our starting point now outlined. We update the tally. We move to cell 1, 7 but it can't be part of the current tally because of the possible 5 candidate. At this point, there are not enough remaining cells in the house making up row 1 to complete a naked quad. We move to the house making up row 2, we reset the tally, and we continue searching. If you remember the guideline we came up with, we only have to start looking for naked quads in houses having 7 or more cells that have not been set to a given or a value. We continue searching based on this guideline. When we get to the house making up row 9, we see it has 8 remaining open cells, so we begin looking for a naked quad. Cell 9, 1 has 4 possible candidates. We update our tally. Cell 9, 2 fits. We update our tally. Cell 9, 3 is good. We now have 3 cells and 4 numbers in our current tally. Cell 9, 4 is no good because of the possible 1 and 6 candidates. Cell 9, 6 is no good because it has too many candidates. Cell 9, 7 is no good because it has possible 5 and 6 candidates. But cell 9, 8 has exactly what we need to complete our naked quad. We found a naked quad in the house making up row 9 with all four cells now highlighted in green. Next, we identify the non-possible candidates to target for removal. And as you can see, we have a naked quad wrapping a hidden quad. The non-possible candidates have been removed from the puzzle. In order to help you find naked quads in a puzzle, the next section of the video will discuss the different types of naked quads, so you will know what to look for. The first thing we will consider with the different types of naked quads is orientation. In this video, we will divide naked quad types into having five different orientations. The first orientation is when all four cells occupy a single block as shown. In this example, we have a naked quad highlighted in green and the kill zone highlighted in red. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in dark red. The second orientation is when we have a naked quad in a row, but is sharing some of the cells with two different blocks as shown. In this example, we have one cell in block 1, three cells in block 2, but all the cells occur in row 2. The third orientation is when we have a naked quad in a row, but the four cells making up the quad are occurring in three different blocks as shown. In this example, we have two cells in block 4, one cell in block 5, and one cell in block 6. The fourth orientation is when we have a naked quad in a column, but the four cells making up the quad are occurring in two different blocks as shown. In this example, we have three cells in block 1, and one cell in block 4. The fifth and last orientation is when we have a naked quad in a column, but the four cells making up the quad are occurring in three different blocks as shown. In this example, we have one cell in block 2, one cell in block 5, and two cells in block 8. Next, we are going to discuss cell count configuration. 
There are 15 different cell count configurations. We are currently showing a 4444 naked quad now highlighted in green. With this example, we have four cells with each cell having four possible candidates. We are currently showing a 4443 naked quad now highlighted in green. With this example, we have three cells with four possible candidates and one cell with three possible candidates. In the typing used in this video, 3444 is the same thing as 4443. The order of the cell counts is not a different type. All counts are ordered from highest to lowest. The remaining examples will be shown in four second intervals. Based on experience, the hardest subsets to find or identify in a puzzle are the ones having only two candidates per cell. In this example, we are currently showing a 2222 two, two, two naked quad wrapping a 2222 two, two, two hidden quad. Just like with naked triples, the only way to get good at finding naked quads is with lots of practice. So in this video, we have identified five different orientations and 15 different cell count configurations. For naked quads, we have identified a total of 75 different types. If we take into account naked versus hidden, we have a grand total of 150 different quad types in a Sudoku puzzle. Let me know if you find any other type of quad not mentioned here. I try to be perfect with these videos, but experience often has shown otherwise. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support DX Sudoku. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. 
Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the naked quad in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint on which house to focus on. Again, pause the video. Here is the solution. This completes DxSudoku training video number 57. Please support DxSudoku. Thank you for watching.